inside the new house and I wanted to put together another little video, kind of a walkthrough and a progress video to show you where we're at right now. So it's a little echoey in here. It's actually a lot echoey in here because everything's been drywalled. Uh, there are doors over here that are getting ready to be installed. This door here for this half bathroom has already been installed. And let me turn the camera around and show you where we're at. All right, so this is the front entrance. When you first walk in, right there is a half bath. And then on this side is our kitchen. So going through to the kitchen is going to be that walk-in pantry and that open room there that you see. This is gonna be the stove and some counter space. We have two windows in here and then the fridge is gonna be all the way to this side of this wall. And then the island, the sink, the island, and the big countertop is gonna go here. In the walk-in pantry, I'm gonna have my freezer. I have a big upright freezer here. And I really love that I have a window in my walk-in pantry, so that will be fun. Now in the walk-in pantry, we're gonna have some bifold doors here, so that should be good. We can keep it closed most of the time, but it most often will probably be open so that we can go in and out of there to access whatever we need for cooking in the kitchen. Then in between these two windows, I'm gonna have a new gas stove. That's gonna be great. I can't wait to get gas stove in here, not electric anymore. And then the fridge is gonna go on this side. So backing away from that walk-in pantry, I'm in the kitchen, and this is the entire living room space. You can see they have supplies and stuff. The trim is down here, and then these doors that were delivered are for the bedrooms, the bathrooms, and all that stuff, so that's what's gonna be next for them to install. So I'm gonna go down this little hallway here, and this one leads to two spaces. On my left here is gonna be the laundry room. You can see that's where the breaker box will be, washer, dryer, and then a sink goes on this end. And that's that room. If I back out of here, this great room here is my new sewing room. Look how much natural light. There is no electricity yet here, so you can see how well you can still see inside the house because we have so many windows for so much natural light. I'm obsessed. You can also see that I have a ton of electrical outlets and receptacles here. There's three on every wall. And if I'm inside the sewing room, there's the old house. This is the other view of it. I still have no idea how I'm gonna decorate this, but I will definitely be keeping you all up to date and definitely plan to do some videos of organizing and how I set it up in here. So we'll walk back out into the living space in the kitchen. We'll make a right. And let's go to where the other bedrooms are. You can see this is French doors, windows on each side. That's the back porch area. All right, so coming down this hallway a little darker, on the left, we have a bathroom. So this is a bathroom that we can access from the outside. That will be the shower, toilet and sink on this side. And you can see a door right there that leads to the outside from here. Coming down the hallway on the right side, another full bath. This one has a tub. Okay. So that's what you see coming down this hallway. And then we have this little corner that has three bedrooms. So this is going to be a guest room with a window out to the pasture, a little room, and then there's a closet over there. This is my son's room. This one has three big windows. He's gonna have a view of the garden out there. And then next to that one is another bedroom. This is my daughter's. She got a view of the chickens out there. And that is it for this side of the house. There's also a little linen closet right here. Okay, 
but then that's the one side of the house. And then if we walk back out and go to the other end, over there in that opening is where the master bedroom is. So in here, the hot water heater, then the master bedroom, and in here is the master bath and closet. So his and her sinks here. Then we have a tub. The toilet will go there. And the shower. A glass shower is gonna be right there, nice and big. And then our closet is in here, which is plenty big for us both because we don't really use a lot of closet space. I don't have much stuff, so that should be fine. Now this is gonna be the back porch and outdoor kitchen area. Half of this, you can see, is under the roof here. So that's gonna be the back porch area. And then the builder needed some concrete to pour those columns that you see for both the front and the back porches. And so he ended up getting like a minimum of five yards. So he asked me where else I wanted him to put me a concrete slab. And I said right next to the back porch, in front of the master bedroom window here because I wanted to prepare kind of an outdoor cooking area for a grill, stuff like that. And it ended up working out beautifully because it's fully in line with the back porch and it makes this this nice big open space that's up off the ground so no more muddy kind of stuff and plenty of space to add whatever I want to this outdoor eating area. Now for this space, what I'm thinking is under the covered area, some type of seating and table area to entertain and eat and stuff. And then on the open end of the slab, some type of outdoor cooking area with some type of a grill. I'm still kind of researching these options. We do want to have like a pizza oven and stuff like that out here. Obviously we'd keep it covered. And then from here, that door that we see up ahead is that one bathroom. I called it the pool bath. Although we're not getting a pool now, I did plan ahead so that if we do put a pool out here in the future, we would have access to a bathroom directly from the back porch. So this is the one I showed earlier. So I guess it'll serve as kind of a mudroom now since we don't have a pool. The shower and then a toilet and sink. And then this is that hallway that you can access from it. Now, for those of you that may be wondering what we use to build the home, we chose an ICF build, which is insulated concrete forms. And you can learn a little bit more about that and see kind of inside and how this worked in the first video that I did when we were at an earlier stage of construction. But this is not the exterior color that you see here. It's kind of like a light pale aqua color. A lot of people message me to say, oh, I love the color. This is not what it's going to be. It is going to be stuccoed on the exterior and we've already chosen the colors, so probably in the next video, I guess, uh, if they get to that point, <laughs> we'll show you all how all that looks once they finish all the inside touches, um, move on to the appliances and all the exterior stuff that is left to do. So right here, I'm like at the end of the living area, the doors to go out to the back porch are right in front of me. So what you see behind me there is going to be the kitchen and that is the front door. So it's just a big open space and then we have rooms tucked away kind of on both wings on the ends of the house. But the inside space, like living area and kitchen, which is where we're probably gonna spend the majority of our time, I wanted it to be just wide and open. And for those wondering what plans we use, we did hire a, um, a private architecture firm in town to custom draft the house plans for us based on exactly what we wanted. So I know they had a hard time fitting in all the rooms and pieces and stuff that I wanted in here for the square footage. A lot of people are asking, it's just over 2,300 square feet and the house is five bedrooms, three and a half bath with all this living space and that kitchen area. So I think I did a pretty good job where I was able to get space is uh, from the bedrooms because the bedrooms are not big at all. Of course, the sewing room is the largest. That is a given, I think. So that sewing room measures like 18 and a half by 18 and a half feet. Uh, so that is the largest room in the house. The kids' bedrooms are a little bit smaller uh, and the master bedroom is smaller too. We don't spend much time in those areas and so I did wanna have a nice open floor plan. I wanted a big walk-in pantry, 
all that kind of other stuff that functionality wise is like up there on my priority list. All right, so this is where we are with the construction process of our new house. I will definitely make some more videos and keep you all up to date with what's going on. And I'm looking forward to doing a final walkthrough once everything inside and out is completed. If you enjoyed this video and you wanna see more, if you have recommendations for me as to outdoor grills or like outdoor cooking setups, I've gotten some really great feedback from y'all on my Facebook page, so I'm definitely researching those options. But if you have an amazing grill that you love or a pizza oven or something, let me know in the comments below because I can use all the suggestions uh, that you can give me. So leave me that in the comment section below. Let me know what you thought about this video and what you're looking forward to seeing in our new house. And I will see y'all in the next video.